So I was supposed to be in a, on a plane today on the way to Pakistan. And because of the government uh, advisory warning, I boarded all my travel plans. Today is January 16th, 2018. I am um, in the cenote, as you can see, uh, thinking about what activities to engage myself in uh, in between now and March 21st when Carl Kalaman is going to visit us here. So yesterday, I visited the mayor's office of Playa del Carmen, having noticed on the internet um, that she has a problem with the, um, the police and the way the police are in uh, overview instructed. She suggested that she was going to be looking to the Declaration of Human Rights of 1948. It was this that triggered my mind to think that, why are they referring to the Declaration of Human Rights of 48 when we ought to be looking at the United Nations Declaration of Human Rights for Indigenous Peoples, UNDRIP, which is then now re replaced the Declaration of Human Rights of 48. And yet it seems that nobody really knows it Except to us in Canada, who seems to have noticed it because we passed an act. We actually passed an act to implement UNDRIP across all government agencies. Now, I haven't found any agency yet involved with this, and I've been searching I'm going to be asking my MP and my MPP to find out what, in fact, is being done about the implementation of the Act. The Act that brings UNDRIP into all government agencies. It was this activity that I brought to the attention of the mayor of Playa del Carmen. I said, why not find out what Canada is doing since they have recognized at a federal level the importance of UNDRIP? Why not look to what Canada is doing, A, and in particular, what is Toronto doing with the implementation of UNDRIP across all of its agencies? So I suggested we take two different tacks. One tack to look at it from a political point of view, and then to look at it from a marketing point of view. From a marketing point of view, this can be Playa de Carmen taking a role in our June 21st event in Toronto and enhancing its own image by challenging the Canadians who are supposed to be implementing the UNDRIP and learn how we might do it here in Playa del Carmen. Wouldn't that be an interesting outcome from this, um, call it a delay of travel, a delay of travel because of government warnings. So I also took the idea over to the city of Mayakaba, <laughs> and I have talked with them and t suggest that we engage in a marketing program for the city of Mayakaba and not necessarily using UNDRIP as a focal point, but rather using uh, our amber raising consciousness, a copal idea. So those are the two things that are taking my time this day as I struggled with my internet connection in Chilbaba. Everyone else seemed to be able to get on, but I couldn't. So I'm here at the Cenote, and I'm wishing everyone a great day and looking forward to hearing back from my daughter as to my quote that I sent her from Gurdjieff, asking her to send it to her mother. All life is interesting. 
some life is stupid. <laughs> this is interesting.